Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to mod chip an original PlayStation 1. This guide is specifically for the PU8 logic board revision, found on SCPH 1000, 3000, and 5000 models. If you don't know what board revision you have, the model should be located near the bottom of the board. Also, I'll leave a helpful website for modding each console revision. First, Flip your console over and remove the bottom screws. This model has five of them. Flip the console back up and make sure there isn't a disc inside. Now you can remove the plastic casing. Next, we have to remove the laser assembly. Mine is from another newer console since the original disc drives failed. Grab a flat tip screwdriver and move the ribbon cable lock upwards to release the cable. The other power cable can just be pulled to remove. As you can see, I already mod chipped this PlayStation, but I wanted to revisit it and resolder the connections, because I don't think I did a good job last time. Remove these screws that protect the memory card and controller connectors. Remember that the farthest two screws are longer than the top ones. Now just disconnect the ribbon cable by pulling on it. And remove the connectors. Also, don't forget to disconnect this power cable. Now you can remove the screws that hold the shielding on. Once that's done, you can just remove it, as well as the logic board. Because my workbench isn't very clean, I'm going to put a piece of paper under the work area. Here's my mod chip that I installed. I guess one of the cables disconnected. Okay, first you want to mark which pin is pin 1. It's usually the pin on the bottom left with the text oriented correctly. There might already be a mark at pin 1. I put a red mark where pin 1 is on my chip. Place a piece of tape where you want to place your chip so that nothing gets shorted out. Here's where the first pin should be wired to. It's located directly under this controller. Here's pin 1 completed. Next, pin 2 is actually skipped, so we can move on to pin 3. Here it is under this other controller. Pin 4 is above those lines of solder connections near the bottom. Pin 5 is at the top of that U-shape of solder. Pin 6 is located above this microcontroller. Pin 7 is here, which kind of makes a Y-shape with that capacitor and other solder pad. Pin 8 is near pin 1, but to the right and a little bit lower. Okay, now we can double check all of the connections, making sure there is uh, nothing shorted out. It also helps to tape the wires when you're done just to keep it a little bit more neat. Now we can put it all back together. Also, I'm going to tape the disk drive safety switch because I find it annoying. Now we can just put the shielding, the screws, and the other stuff back together.
And now let's see if it works. But nothing happened. I forgot to put the internal power cable back together. Here's me testing the controller and memory card just to see if I put that ribbon cable back together correctly. And now we can see if burned games work on it. And as it turns out, they do. And that's how you successfully mod a PlayStation 1. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and hopefully I'll be able to answer them.